know there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast. Call me a shooting star. Good morning people of the grid. It's Tuesday here in Calgary and this is our first full snowfall of um, what's going to be our winter. It's it's not going to last. It can't last. It's got to go away and be nice a little bit yeah, longer. Yeah, we have Halloween. Yeah, we have Halloween and usually we don't have this on the ground for Halloween. So we're crossing our fingers that this won't last long. It's a really wet, sticky snow. So, and, and the temperature is not that cold but this whole week is gonna be like this, so it's gonna be with us for at least a week. The roads are bad, everybody's driving super, super slow, which is good, hopefully there isn't any accidents, but these are the days where your travel time to, to our offices downtown could take, it could take two hours. It, it will take two hours for most people, just because everybody's taking it easy. You throw in one accident that just grinds everything to a halt. It's, it's a real mess. So we left early to get the girls off to school. Amelia might be a little late, but uh, we're looking good so far. So, yep, that's the kind of day it's gonna be. A snowy day, a winter day. We're gonna go snowboarding soon. Yeah. You're a little more excited than mom was. Well, her Only board, half of you is on the... Her board would fit me because I'm a stall her now. So maybe I would actually put that board to use. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Your mom might fight you for it, but yeah, she may not even know, right? I don't think she noticed. I don't think she noticed. No. So I've got some uh, conference calls and uh, computer work to do. Figured I would plug in and charge while I do those meetings and work, and uh, it's brutal. Brutal traffic. It's the worst thing about the first snow is that it just grinds everything to a halt for us. It'll get better. I wrapped up my meetings. My work over there is done and now I'm heading, it's lunchtime, so I'm gonna go ahead to the uh, home office, finish up the day there. There's no traffic now because rush hour is over and everybody's finally gotten to where they're going. It's still snowing. It's crazy. Once it starts here, it doesn't want to stop. So we're going to probably have a bad week and then hopefully all of this disappears and we get into kind of a, you know, a nice fall. That would be nice. Hey guys, just been hanging out here getting some work done. Kind of a late work night actually. But we're gonna wrap it up. It's uh, 20 minutes to 10 and I thought I'd uh, just go over, I took a couple of videos this morning and this afternoon and then I ran into a friend of mine, Sergey, the guy who took our family pictures, which we got them all now. So we're gonna, I'll show you a number of them. They turned out awesome, but we'll save that. Um, he just got a Model 3. So he's driving around like many Model 3 owners now that are brand new to maybe an electric car. It might be their first electric car. And this is certainly their first dose or taste of winter. Here's what Sergey ran into that he shared with me that I thought was interesting. And I'm gonna keep digging into it because I don't think we've got the final on it, but he spoke with Tesla. Uh, he noticed in his car, and we've all noticed this. Here's, here's the situation. So he's driving. And he noticed that his regeneration, that's when you're driving and you take your foot off the accelerator, a Tesla will slow down like a motorbike. So providing that there's battery space left. So if you're at 100% battery, you're not gonna get any regen because you can't put any energy back into a full battery. It'll hurt it. So the software doesn't allow it. But what Tesla does allow is as, you're, as you go down on your battery utilization, when you let off the accelerator, 
just like a motorbike, when you let off the throttle, the car recaptures very effectively energy, dumps it back in the battery. We all get used to that in the warmer climate, in the summer. I love it because once you learn it, you can actually bring the car to a stop without even touching the brake, which is really cool because it saves your brake pads, which means we should expect to see much longer life out of our brake pads on a Tesla, providing you know, you're not racing the car and hitting brakes hard at all the other times. Anyways, what Sergey ran into was, he said, I'm not getting the region I'm expecting, and the only thing I've changed is he's put on winter tires, specifically uh, the Nokian studded tires. So he's got studs on his tires, and he thinks that that might have something to do with it. Tesla initially said they didn't see that how that could make any difference, and then after they said, well, maybe it is, because it's the only thing that's changed. Now, I, th I think there's a couple of things going on here, <clears throat> a couple of things to be aware of. And again, I'll share more info. I'm gonna add this to my, we're gonna do a, a special just on this subject alone, but the 50,000 foot view is in cold weather. So if your battery is cold on our Model S and Model X, where we've got the two screens, it actually shows us a graph and we'll have dotted lines on the bottom, which is how much regen we can dump in. It'll limit it. So if the battery's cold, it won't allow a lot of energy to be dumped back into it from regen. It also, on the top end, won't allow a lot of energy to be pulled out very quickly. So if you punch it in really cold weather where the battery's cold, you're not gonna get full, full power out of the battery. It's gonna hold back. It's almost like the software limits it so that you don't hurt the battery. It's good stuff. Now, what that causes us to notice in the winter time and it happens to me, we park our Model S and X in the garage. We don't have a heated garage. The two walls are insulated. There's a roof. The roof is not insulated because it's a garage. And then we got the garage door, which is just a really you know thin aluminum. In the winter time, you can expect the garage to be you know warmer than outside temperatures. If it's minus two outside, the garage could be sitting you know at my at five degrees Celsius. So it actually does kind of hold some of the temp. But that is still cold enough for the Tesla battery where it gets cold to a point where it says, you know what, I'm gonna limit regen and I'm gonna limit output. On the Model S and the X, here's the, I'm gonna show you. See this graph? Look at this. See how it, it goes, when I, when I punch it, you can see that it's, it's sucking energy out of the battery. No limit, because my battery's warm. And also when I take my foot off the accelerator, you can see that it puts energy back in the battery. Again, no limit, because the battery's warm. Um, but on the Model 3, I don't think you get that graph. And I can't remember from when James and I drove it from Vancouver to San Diego, we drove a Model 3. I did notice that I don't see the utilization graph, which I love because it's a very nerdy data type thing. Um, you don't get that on the Model 3. And I'm wondering if you get that utilization circle. Because without it, you don't know if your battery is is operating at completely norm temps which means when you go to regen and don't see the aggressive region you're expecting it might still be because the battery's cold now sergey said no I, I drove around for a while and i think the battery warmed up here's the thing when you drive around in coolish temperatures so that's like five degrees even eight degrees nine degrees i've seen cold battery pop up on the car when you drive around in these cold temps what can happen is that if you're driving slow, the car warms the battery to a, you know as best it can, but it's it's cooling as you go, and it's just never at like summer like temperatures, which means that it's still a little bit limited. And I think maybe that's what Sergey experienced. So uh, we'll share some information and uh, we'll learn more from it. The other thing with with tires um, that Tesla said, which I do believe, because they change things as they go, so. I'm basing what I'm telling you on our three and a half years experience with the S and the two years experience with the X, but they change the software as they go and it gets better and different over time. What they told Sergey was, if the tires, if the car detects wheel slippage, it will say, you know what? I think we're on a slippery surface. And so when it comes time to regen, we're not gonna be as aggressive because if we regen hard, it's gonna cause a skid, right? If you let off the accelerator and the car almost it's, you know, it's like hitting the brake, even though it's not the brake, it's, it's just resistance, it could induce a slide. And so, you know, people were worried about that. I think Tesla wrote something into the software now where 
if the wheels are detecting slip and it's possible even though like Sergey's got like the best wheels ever the best tires he's got the Hakapalita studded monster tires it's like a monster truck in the winter he shouldn't get slip but I mean with road surfaces what they were today it's like snow on top of wet snow on top of ice every car slid a little bit and I think if the Tesla detected any kind of wheel slip, it may have adjusted the way it captures. So that's kind of a, it's longer than I wanted it to be, but uh, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll share more info with you as we go. And uh, that's it. We're going to wrap it up for today. Snowed like crazy. It's still snowing. There's going to be more snow on the roads tomorrow. So if you don't have to drive to the office and can work from home, probably a good idea. Okay. Good talk. Thanks for listening, guys. Miker, out. Uh -huh. Looking at a shooting star. Got more than a couple of people going mad. I swear they're rooting hard.